What is a non-repellent insecticide and when do you want to use one? Well, let's start a little bit talking about uh, repellent insecticides. Uh, in the beginning, most insecticides were repellent um, and that worked great. You spray around the outside of your house, insects kind of detect it, the ones that don't detect it cross it and they're killed. And you've accomplished what you wanted to accomplish, keeping the bugs out of the house. But we've noticed uh, that some insects are more sensitive than others at detecting these insecticides. When bugs can detect an insecticide, they know that insecticide's there. They also know where the insecticide is not. For instance, ants and termites, they're very sensitive to these insecticides. And that's really important, particularly with uh, exterior perimeter treatments. If ants, for instance, come up to the house, they can detect insecticides very easily. If there's an insecticide there, they may avoid it and find a weakness somewhere where there is no insecticide and come in there. So when you're treating for those insects, it's really important to use a non-repellent. Likewise, on the inside of the house, there are certain insects that seem to be important to use non-repellent insecticides when you're treating. Most importantly, German cockroaches and bed bugs. These insects tend to be very difficult to treat for, the treatments tend to be complicated treatments. It's pretty involved. So you, if they're contained to an area like a kitchen, in the case of German roaches, or a particular bedroom, in the case of bed bugs, it's really important to contain that infestation so that you don't have to treat more and more areas. So using a non-repellent will prevent scattering those insects. So when it comes down to using a repellent or a non-repellent insecticide, it really comes down to what insect are you treating and how important that's gonna be. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and for more DIY pest control videos, subscribe to our channel.